ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, with all the controversy going on about this tank, um, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm shooting myself in the foot being that I own it. But, to be honest with you, I think Wargaming really needs to uh, remodel this tank and give it the weak spots where the machine gun ports are in the front and the commander's hatch. And um, after this replay, uh, you'll kind of understand why. Um... I was actually surprised. I went to the left where the mediums normally do. Um, I, I figured more than likely, you know, I've run into the Conway, uh, the ML, uh, maybe one of the ML ones, uh, Oho, um, the MC AC48, uh, STRVS1, the UDZO3, stuff with good penetrating guns. Um, to my bewilderment, ran into both their T10s. Um, so I was kind of a little bit surprised about that, but that worked out for the best anyways because uh, T10's got a really good uh, penetrating gun. And, you know, I want to show that this is, you know, it's bouncing rounds that shouldn't bounce, um, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, yeah, the front upper plate does have, you know, great armor, but... You know, it it just shouldn't bounce a lot of the rounds that, you know, I'm, I'm bouncing here off Tier 9 tanks. I love how uh, the round gets there so fast. That was an APCR round, and it's like as soon as I hit the uh, trigger there, the round was like there. Uh, that's the nice thing about the uh, APCR rounds. Um, I started having some uh, lag issue. And you can see it bumping up to 160. And when I get up around the corner here, uh, it really starts to uh, flare up. And there's 180, 190. And uh, at first I thought, you know, maybe I should just disconnect real quick and connect my cell phone. I thought, no, no, we'll just go ahead and play it through. So you'll see a couple of the shots where you'll hear the boom and then you'll see the round go a second later. That's just because of lag. So... Oh, don't want to think anything uh, fishy was going on. Now, the Centurion one over to the right there. Um, he was behind that rock over there. He's not lit up now. That gun has got, I believe it's 268 standard round penetration. And I, you know, face the front towards him. Go up over the hill. Let's see where he hit me, because I know he hits me in the front. Let's see if he's been a lower plate or the upper. Oh, so he hit my track. So that really... I thought he actually hit uh, the lower plate and bounced, but uh, it sounds like he just hit the hit the track and it didn't do any damage to the track, really. So back, back off, and now oh, the T-10, that was a turret shot. You can see it hit right on the thickest part of the gun mantle right here. And that was standard round, standard AP round. I just, I'm going to stop it so we can look uh, at the rounds that it bounces and the ones that penetrate. Just so you can understand where I'm coming from saying that, you know, it's it's kind of, it's overpowered. Well, not really. The gun, the gun is subpar. Um, I had to shoot pretty much premium rounds to penetrate here. Um, I know that one bounced, so let's take a peek. That hit in the upper plate. You can see the green mark right there. And the upper plate on this, on any tank, you would want it to bounce, you know. But it should have weak spots, those machine gun ports. So they, they need to remodel it with those and a commander's hatch weak spot. But, so that round obviously wasn't going to pen me. But, so I hit him right on the pike. His pike knows, you know, the T-10 has a little bit of a pike there. And um, it uh, bounces. Okay, so I pen him, and he pens me. And that time, yeah, it was with a uh, standard round, and he actually went right on the uh, weld, right below where he hit me before, and that penned. And that's pretty. That's more or less an upper plate. So, you know, right on that weld, I've been penetrated before by tier seven. So that might be kind of a weak spot right there. Um, but we'll get back into it here. So whittling this T10 down. 
and I didn't want him to go anywhere. And that time he penned my lower plate right there, and he knocked my engine out. Every time I have been penetrated in the lower plate, I've had my engine knocked out. And so he penned me with a standard round through the lower plate, no problem. So two rounds pen me. I see the other T-10 trying to come around. He takes out the ravioli there. But I wanted to take him out. And where did he pen me that time? That time looked like... Yeah, he hit me right square on the side there. Obviously, that's going to pen no problem. So, obviously, this is not a Tier 10 match, but, you know, it's still Tier 9s. And the T-49 came popping up over here. Put one through his front. Let's see where he hit me. Uh, he hit me in the lower plate. You can see the green mark right there. And it bounced. We're able to take him out. T-10 comes towards us with his rear facing us, which I was hoping to set him on fire. And he hit us right here on the gun mantle, right there, the other side there. So that's, you know, really thick. That's going to bounce. Or you would want it to bounce at least. <laughs> he was going to try ramming me, which he does. And he actually did, um, whoops, he did, uh, let's see, I did 281 damage to him, well actually I hit him for uh, 308, and then he ran me, and I did 281 damage to him, and he did 133 damage to me. So, uh, that worked out for the, my favor, actually, um. Luckily, the RU-251 came up and uh, shot him in the keister and finished him off. And that's leaving me with a whopping 46 hit points. So, basically, from here on out, you got to play it kind of safe. One, you know, obviously, arty splashes next to you, you're dead, but um, I don't think there was no... Yeah, there was no artillery in this match. Yeah, anybody splashes near you with a, a HE round, it's going to go through you, though. So we go through the Amex AC-48, the uh, weak spot there in the upper part. Now we bounce one from the Emil here. Must be coming up here. I'm pretty sure I bounce one uh, from him here in a second. Let's see where the Emil one hit us. Right there in the side. But that was enough. That's the way you want to play this. Uh, you put your gun right over this corner right here. And that gives you just a perfect angle where they can't pen you. So if I would have been a little bit more to the left, he probably would have went through the side of me. But we were able to pen that round. I mean, that bounce that round. So really, um, all in all... Uh, the Super Pershing up there, I take a shot at him and goes right into his uh, gun mantle, so ain't gonna pen that. So pretty much all in all, the tier uh, nines, the um, T10s, uh, one of them pen, you know, pen me three times, one in the side, uh, two in my front, uh, one in the, like, like the middle part of it, and one in the lower plate. Uh, the other one, he you know, you can see where they pen me right there. The other one pen me in the side. Uh, one of them I thought... No, no one penned the turret. The turret on this thing is just really strong. Uh, the Super Persian came around the corner here. I'm not loaded yet. Uh, oh, it hit his upper plate. I thought it hit his lower plate. I actually hit him in the side here and finished him off in just a second. So we get rid of him. All they have left is UD03 and the STRVS1. So, all in all, for the most part, um, you know, if this would have been a tier 8 match, 
tier eights, unless they're shooting basically premium rounds, um, aren't going to go through the front of this. So they need to remodel it with the weak spots where those machine gun ports are. Just for the simple fact that, you know, you play this, you keep your front facing the enemy, unless they're shooting premium rounds, more than likely they're definitely not going to pin your commander's hatch or your, your turret. So they're going to have to hope to pin that lower plate. And in order to pin that lower plate, they're going to usually have to shoot premium rounds that bump them up to, you know, 270, 280 penetrating area. Um, whereas your tier nines, their standard rounds are, you know, 260, 270 area. So if this is a top tank in a match, it almost feels kind of unfair because really nothing can pen your front unless they're shooting premium rounds. So, you know, I do feel that Wargaming should actually take this, remodel it with the commander's hatch, add the weak spot in there, and uh, add the weak spot on both the machine gun ports. You know, like Sir Foch said, um, you know, they made this with no weak spots on the front, and um, it, it's not fair to the people that, for one, don't own it, um, to the people that play it, it's less competition for me when I take this out. Um, and I'm, if I'm top tier, because I've just know nothing can really pen my front, you know, anywhere because there's no weak spots with those weak spots, at least gives them a chance to aim in and hit you with those machine gun ports and, and penetrate you with standard rounds versus knowing they have to switch over to premium and waste their credits and, you know, and whatnot to, to pen this thing. So... Anyways, we go on to win this match. Uh, the STRV just gets taken out here in a second since we got pretty much our whole team going after them and they take them out. Somebody sent me a uh, uh, request there, but it was um, too late for me to snag it for uh, to get a Brothers in Arms. I should have been paying attention. The RU-251 and the M41 Bulldog uh, both had three kills. And uh, could have got all three of us a brothers in arms if I'd have been paying attention because we all got three kills and lived. So, eh, well, you win some, you lose some. But we ended up winning this match. So if you want to hold on for a minute, I will have some post-game stats for you. Alrighty, so here's the results of that match. And you could see I had uh, some pretty bad lag there. Uh, you know when you hit your mouse button, you hear the boom, and all of a sudden the round just takes off a few seconds later. It's like, holy crap. Uh, yeah, but my ping started shooting up, and uh, it kind of lasted um, quite a bit of uh, the time that I was going against the uh, T-10s there. Uh, once I started heading towards the enemy base, kind of smoothed out, but it didn't really matter that <laughs> once I got that far. Um, that was a Master Badge Class 1, Shell Proof, um, Master Gunner, Fire for Effect Bruiser and one of the uh, Spartans because I had like very few hit points left. I was able to bounce uh, a couple rounds uh, and not get killed. So uh, we hit this T10 twice for 860. Knocked out his track. Bounced two of his shots for 880. Hit this other T10 four times for 1071. Knocked out his track, destroyed his track, bounced one of his rounds for 440. Uh, the T49 hit him three times for 641. Knocked out his ammo rack, his track, bounced one of his rounds for 240. Uh, the M01 hit him twice, I'm sorry, for 625. Knocked out his gun, bounced one of his rounds, bounced around from the Centurion 1. Uh, the Super Pershing hit him <laughs> one time in the side uh, that penetrated for 29 hit points of damage. Uh, knocked out his track and killed him. Um, you could see I was hitting him in the front. Even the uh, lower plate, I think I hit him once there. and It might have hit the upper plate. I'm not real sure, but it didn't go through. Uh, the Amex AC-48 hit him once for 331. That was a nice roll. And spotted him originally. 
So we got 3,557 damage, three kills, and the experience, base experience on that was 1,285. At 17 shots, 16 hit, 13 penned for 3,557 damage. From a distance of more than 300 meters, 256. Hits received was 9, 3 penned, 6 bounced. Uh, so he bounced 1,880 hit points of damage. Uh, spotted one vehicle, damage 6, destroyed 3. Made 102,218 credits. But after they resupplied the uh, consumables, the ammo, and repaired the tank, we lost 1,400 credits. So, um, I liked I liked this tank a lot, but um, you know I really have to agree with Sir Fosh. When I'm bouncing a tier nines uh, round so easy. And even though he was shooting me with standard rounds, something's wrong with that. Um, you know, it shouldn't be so easy to bounce, you know, that many rounds, that much damage off the front of a tank. Uh, yeah, they did pen the front of this a couple times, but, I mean, for the most part, it was their T-10s that were hitting me. Like, this one hit me twice and bounced. He hit me once. So that's three rounds right there that bounced. Uh, M01, that's got a pretty good gun. Uh, he bounced. Centurion 1, that's got really good penetration. It's like 260-something on a standard round bounced. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I wonder if uh, Wargaming should take this tank and uh, actually, you know, give it the weak spots that it should have. Uh, the machine gun ports on each side, obviously. And uh, the commander's hatch. Uh, you, you know, you saw that they did pen the lower plate. So it's not, you know, unpenable from the front. But um, it takes a high penetrating gun to do it. Now, if I could hit that front lower plate and all I had was a top uh, to plate to, uh, you know, shoot at, they would have bounced round after round after round. Um, unless they had the weak spots, these machine gun ports, then, you know, obviously they're going to have to aim in, and you know, there's not, they're not huge, but it's a weak spot. They're supposed to be there. Um, and same with Commander's Hatch. Um, any tank, any tank in the game has weak spots, except for this one. You know, and, you know, I like this tank a lot, and it's a fun tank to play, but, you know, it's, it almost feels kind of unfair playing it. Um... You know, when you got tier nines that can't even pen you, you know, that just, it's, I don't know. I think the Wargaming really needs to uh, reevaluate what they did with this tank and change the, uh, you know, front to have the weak spots and the commander's hatch to have the weak spots too. You know, just not right the way it is. It's, it's just too easy to keep your front facing somebody and a lot of times, you know, even the tier nines, basically, you know, to go through the front easily, they would have had to have shot premium rounds. So, yeah, you know, just, you know, food for thought for Wargaming. They, they might want to go ahead and, you know, fix this up the way it should be with the weak spots with the, and the machine gun ports and the commander's hatch. Just to make it fair, I, I would say. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Uh, you guys... Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.